So now, not only do you understand how to read the periodic table of elements, you know how to use that information to tell you the number of protons in any atom. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at something that's just slightly, slightly more complex than what we learned in the previous lesson, how to use the periodic table to find the number of electrons. You're going to find that this also is extremely easy, just like finding the number of protons. So once again, that atomic number, that most important number on the element square, gives you the number of protons in any element on the periodic table. But here's another important fact. Protons have a charge of 1 plus, and electrons have a charge of 1 minus. And when you put those two charges together, they balance each other out, and every atom seeks that balance. Once again, let's bring back our first five element squares on the periodic table. I'm going to circle the atomic number once again, and I'll show you the number of protons in each of those elements on the periodic table. Remember, that's what the atomic number gives you, the number of protons. But also remember that relationship I just mentioned. Each proton has a 1 plus charge, each electron has a 1 minus charge, and to balance each other out, each proton is going to attract exactly one electron. That's what we're going to find for each of these elements. Hydrogen has one proton, it will attract one electron. Helium has two protons, which will attract two electrons. Lithium, three. Beryllium, four and boron 5. And once again, this trend will continue on the periodic table. Carbon has 6 protons. It will attract 6 electrons. Nitrogen, 7 and 7, and so on throughout the entire table. So here's the thing. Not only does the atomic number tell you the number of protons, but because each proton attracts exactly one electron, the atomic number also tells you the number of electrons in an atom of any element. And then, once again, to make these complete atoms, we also have to acknowledge that those electrons are in an orderly place in the atom, and that these atoms also will have neutrons, but we can't predict the number of neutrons just from the atomic number. You now know how to find the number of protons in any atom on the periodic table using the atomic number, and the number of electrons of any atom on the periodic table using the atomic number.